Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is a beautiful sunny day in Southern California, so I thought I would do my makeup routine and don't mind my eyebrows, oh my god. Um, it's a very, very quick routine that I like to do if I go to the beach. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be going to the beach, so that's why I wanted to record this for you. It's There's different ways to do it, and this is just the main one that I like to stick to, and I'm just gonna talk you through everything I'm gonna be doing. Um, so I'm going to be starting off with my Murad toner as always. Love this guy, it's the Essential C Toner. Just kind of spray that all over the face and let it set. And obviously you're going to the beach, so you need your SPF. I use SPF on a daily basis no matter what, but obviously today it's, it's even more important because I'm going to be on the beach. So I'm going to be using Murad's Age Balancing Moisture. This has an SPF of 30. I'm just going to apply this all over the face. I know you guys have uh, noticed this new background, but I'm trying out different rooms in the house. Only because that backdrop was not working out very well. Um, camera just seems to focus on the backdrop and not me. So there was a bit of a problem with that one. Um, and then, sorry, I forgot to pull it out first. I'm gonna be doing the Murad Essential C Eye Cream. This also has an SPF of 15, which is fantastic, especially for the eye area because you know your skin around your eyes is so thin and so sensitive. I'm just gonna dab that around with the ring of finger. I know a lot of people are thinking, wow, you're gonna do all this and you're just gonna go to the beach. Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> so for um, foundations, I'm going to be using um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in 104 Golden Beige, and I'm also going to mix it with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, and this is in Suede 104. So that's what these two look like, um, and I don't think either one of these have SPF in them, but normally a lot of them do. So the funky way that I do this is I literally just draw lines all over my face. I'm just trying to hurry up and get to the beach. And I don't know what's going on, I don't know if you can see this, but I have been like breaking out in like rashes around this area and I don't understand why. Um, I was cleaning my house a lot the first time it happened and I thought it was because of these latex gloves I was using and maybe I like I touched my face. But I haven't used latex gloves in a while so I don't know what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna be using a beauty blender to just put that on. trying out this new thing where I have like my viewfinder over here connected to my computer so if you see me staring off like on that side you know why I'm just hoping this works so that was just a very quick easy way to um, even out my skin tone still gonna do a little bit more right here um, obviously with concealer gonna be using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Just gonna apply a little bit, not gonna go crazy. I don't know why around my eye area, I always tend to get like reddish. So I always have to bring it up as high as I can to cover that up. Reddish purplish, I guess. a little around the area that I mentioned I keep getting like these red rashy spots and 
And after that, and don't mind Paisley, she's right here, so you might hear her dog call her a lot. And I'm just gonna set it like super, super quick. Not gonna do like any baking or anything like that. Just gotta do the under eye because Lord knows I will crease no matter what. Little on the forehead, little on the chin. And then since we're going to the beach, I like to be shimmery and golden and all that beautiful stuff. So I've been loving this cargo, what is it called? Cargo, the big bronzer. And it literally is a big bronzer, like it's almost the size of my head, seriously. Anyways, so this beautiful thing, I've been using it all summer and I just love it. So I'm just gonna grab a little, um, can't even see that, blush brush. I'm just gonna do that on the high points or the hollows of my cheeks just to give me a little bronze look. A little on the forehead to even it out. And on the chin, why not? Let's just be shimmery all over. guys know I always go in and buff everything out so if it looks like it's too much just buff it out buff it out um, and for blush I love using this one it's the Tarte Captivating it's a beautiful coral color so I just love using these kinds of colors um, for the summertime gonna put a little bit on just to give me some more color oh bye Paisley am I not entertaining enough for you uh, what is it? and then just buff it out this brush has no product on it this is the um, elf complexion brush and I just love it it's like three dollars I think it's like the perfect density to just buff things out. So I never put product on this one. I just like to smooth everything out on my face. Then of course, you have to do a little highlight. So I'm gonna be using Becca's Moonstone. Yes, I do not have Champagne Pop yet. Yeah, I know, and that's okay. So I'm not sure if I'm even gonna get it because I feel like they're all the same. But, ah, so I'm just going to be doing a little bit of highlight in the normal areas. And a little bit on the nose. And again, buff stuff out. Okay, and now for the eyebrows, I'm going to be using Thrive Cosmetics. Um, Infinity Waterproof Brow Liner. This is amazing stuff. And I'm just going to be doing it really, really fast on camera. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I went and started pulling my eyebrows again. I know, this one got like really bad. So I'm really embarrassed to show you guys, but it is what it is. So whatever, just got to deal with it. All right, so here we go. Do my eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek mode. Just kidding, they're so not on fleek mode. When I go to the beach, I don't get so like specific and sharp and whatever with my eyebrows. I just try to pencil them in as fast as possible. So they might even be uneven, but you know what, that's okay. So after this, I just like to run um, a bone colored shadow on my eyelid. I always grab it from the Too Faced um, Natural Matte Palette. Ick. It's this one right here. 
just gonna grab some and put it on my eyelids just to kind of smooth anything out because usually all the creams end up like making creases on my eyelids and I don't like it this is super quick nothing fancy nothing schmancy and from that we're gonna do eyelashes I don't wear falsies to the beach whatsoever so we're just gonna go ahead and curl them. This is a Tarte eyelash curler. Just gonna place that and I like to concentrate it on the outer ones. I, don't, I know you can't tell, but this is concentrating on the outer ones. Pump it about, I don't know, five to seven times. And then go again on the inner and do five to seven pumps. And then if I don't wear falsies, I always stick to two mascaras and I always resort to um, Tarte's um, lights camera lashes and Too Faced Better Than Sex. These are like the ultimate combo for me because I'm very picky on the wands. So Tarte's um, wand is very, very, uh, see that? It's very um, fluffy and it would separate your eyelashes a lot, which I really like as my first mascara. So just gonna place that. You guys ever notice what a huge difference mascara does? Like, it's insane. And my hairs are so light. I think it's quite funny. Okay, so once we do that, then I'm gonna grab Better Than Sex, which is, in my opinion, a much more chunkier brush. So to me, it would leave clumps, which I actually like because then I can go in and kind of like make my eyelashes the way I want them but I'm just gonna wiggle that and give my lashes more volume and I usually don't have a problem with my eyelashes um, going flat or straight again so I know a lot of people like to use a uh, waterproof mascaras as their first base to keep that curl but I don't think I've noticed mine um, might do that so I just do this so same thing just going to concentrate it on the outer ones on the outer lashes first a couple pumps and then go to the inner do a couple pumps uh, and then once again start off with the tarts And excuse all the cars in the background. And now with the Too Faced Better Than Sex to give it a little more volume. And you can achieve this with a bunch of different um, uh, mascaras. I used to love Rimmel's um, Accelerator. It's like a black and yellow mascara. That's a really, really good one. I might end up resorting back to it. So, mascara's on. Oh, I kind of forgot the lower lashes. I'm going to put a little bit much I guess for lips um, I always use bites agave nectar mask this is something that I use maybe three to four times a day every morning a couple times during the day and then I go to sleep with that at night and I've only used this much and I just don't like how it's getting all ugly but although this is a little pricey it's totally worth the money because like I said I've only used this little portion right here and I use it multiple times a day it's like a thick consistency but but it's amazing. Okay. 
And for the beach, I never do anything fancy with my lips. So I'm going to be using Jouer Cosmetics um, Lip Gloss in Wind. It's like a corally kind of natural color. And to top everything off, I just love using Urban Decay's Chill Setting Spray. It's it's just amazing. It feels delicious, so I just use it whenever I can. Oh, it feels so good. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon. And that is pretty much it. Just got the face done, got a little color on the cheeks and around the face, got some got some got my eyebrows done of course can't go without those especially since I just completely destroyed them the other day and put some mascara on some lip gloss and we're done ready to go to the beach so just gotta pack up my car and mosey on out of here so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, it's middle of August maybe late August now some people might think the summer's done but my birthday's early August and to me that's when summer starts just kidding so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this um, Please thumbs up the video and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Periscope. See you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.